Okay, I want to take out the intake manifold bracket on the left side of the van. This is one of the steps in removal in a head gasket job. So after the cover is open, you have right here each ER, each ER modulator. I take out the each ER modulator because it makes it easier for me to access the bolt inside here. It's a bolt here, two bolts here, and two bolts here. Those are the ones I need to take out. The top one, I just need to remove it. Uh, and the top one, I, I remove. The bottom one, I take out. I'm removing EGR modulator right now. <clears throat> to get more room, more access. See, that's the one I need to lose, and there's another one here. One here, one here. I'm gonna get here first. The top here first, 12 millimeter. Loosen that up and then I just use the little ratchet. Kind of tough to get in here, but okay, loosen enough, and I stick my hand in here and loosen it. Take it out. Uh oh, and then I use I use this to loosen up the bottom. To loosen the bottom. Okay. That should be good enough. Okay, that's all I need just to loosen it. And then here too. Loosen the bottom. And the top. I can just use the ratchet. There you go. Both sides loose. That's all I need to do on this side of the engine. Okay, I got everything loose. I'm going to pull the cylinder head out. Let me get the camera out of here before it crushes it. And that's big. Kind of tricky. Make sure the chain won't be in my way. Kind of put it up a little bit. Mm, look like ready to come out. There we go. Now, as you can see, the head is right here. I have to determine, see what's the issue with the cylinder head. Might be a crack. Might be blown gasket, but most likely it's a crack because it just gives out smoke from time to time. surface and come back from the machine shop. If you use a wire brush like me here, make sure it's the softer one, the small, small strand, softer one. If you use a large strand, as you like, like this larger strand right here, it's, it's really coarse, really hard, and chances are 
if there's a crack on the center of the head, this will shave um, some of the aluminum here and cover up the crack, and you cannot tell. And you think it's good, and it's not. And so you use a smaller brush. That's good. Let me get a scalp brush. When you look, you just look the most likely place to crack is right here between these two valves, in, in, in taking the exhaust valve, the exhaust valve between these valves because the material is so small, so narrow here. So just look for the crack right there. And this one, it's really good. Okay. It will go to a machine shop and get resurfaced pressure test and vacuum test again. Make sure that everything's gonna be well. I probably can have them take out the valve and relap all the valve. So create good compression afterwards. Good to go. I'm happy now.